Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap and we are here with Technique Tuesday. So we are super excited to show you today's technique, so come on. All right, so today we are actually going to be bringing in um, some Spectrum Noir markers, but they are not our normal markers that we have been using. We actually have the metallic markers today. So we've got our rare minerals, our precious metals, and our antiqued elements. So we're going to show you these different colors. You can see them on the side there. Um, we're going to write them quickly and then we're going to talk about them a little. All right, so there we have it. We've got our metallic markers now written out. So we've got the antiques elements here, the precious metals here, and the rare minerals here. Sorry, I put my finger into one of them and got blue on it. Um, but you can see how really beautiful they are. And I'm not sure if you can see it in the light, but they are metallic. So um, you really do get that shimmer off of them. You can do so many different things with them too because they are two different sides, which I showed you actually while writing it out. So there's a thin side, which you can see here. And then just make sure you don't put your finger in it like I did again. Then there's a thicker side, which you can see here. So you can do a lot of different things with them. You can write. Um, if you have gotten into the Melissa Esplin, the penmanship, you can use these for the penmanship because it is kind of like a brush lettering or anything like that. Um, you can use them as decorations on any of your pages. So if you wanted to, just like we've been using with the shimmer brushes and stuff like that, you can make a border along the outside of your paper. You can do a lot of really fun things with them. Um, squiggles. Squiggles are always a favorite of mine. <laughs> Don't I just love squiggles? Yes, you do. <laughs> um, but you can do a lot of things with them. You can write with them. You can draw with them. Let's see, like I could write, hi, <laughs> or if I wanted to do hi with more like brush lettering kind of thing, you can get those thin and those thick strokes out of it. Just like that. So you can have a lot of fun with them um, and they are metallic. So a lot of people are looking for metallic markers. There you go, you've got your metallics. Um, super pretty, super fun to work with, but we kind of just wanted to show them to you. So one more thing we wanted to tell you about the metallic markers is you really should be storing them this way. So the way that they go into the carrier or when you get them is you're gonna get, first of all, um, a little thing that goes with them, all about the markers. And they're gonna be in this little plastic case with this sheet on top. Um, so how we store them is we keep them in the thing that it came in actually, just like this. And we make sure that we store them either laying down like this or standing up like this. You don't wanna have them on either side because then the ink will go to either side of your uh, pen or anything like that it's better to store them actually laying down or up like this. So that is um, just our storing tip. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. And isn't it just such a beautiful day outside? Oh, wonderful. We hope that you enjoyed the sun, the bright skies, no longer cold. Who knows with this weather, maybe it will come oh, cold course. next week, but who knows? <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Remember our virtual weekend at the end of this month, April 23rd to the 26th. So we're excited about that. Also, Close to My Heart has their album retreat out. If you would like to join us for that as well, um, check out the information below that we have. And yeah, I guess that's everything. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Why are you no smiley nicey? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. I've been using. We actually have the meat, the meat Alex? The meat Alex. Ooh.